This is SWX. Welcome back to the show, everyone. I'm Alex Eshelman, and tonight we continue to break down Big Sky Football Media Day, starting with the one and only Tommy Touchdown. After leading Montana State to the national championship, it was a meteoric rise to fame for the sophomore quarterback from Butte, who really became something of a, of a cult hero, which he says he certainly wasn't expecting. As soon as the season got over, it was just it, it was surreal how how things how things kind you know that 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 fame that I kind of felt and so I'm just extremely grateful for all of the support I've had throughout all of Montana. Uh, there's so much care for for me as an individual and not just as a football player out there. You know, as a Montana boy, it's not necessarily it wasn't like my dream to be a celebrity in Montana, uh, but it's something that you know I was able to accept and and uh, I'm very grateful for. Now, while Malat is likely to be the starter this upcoming season, the University of Wyoming transfer Sean Chambers, who started against Montana State last year, will come in to push for playing time as well. We needed to add depth to that room, and we wanted to add experience depth, but that's, you know, adding experience depth to a room that has a guy that just did what Tommy did, that's really complicated. There will be a role for Sean Chambers. Um, I think he's pushed Tommy. Those two have uh, worked together very well. Um, and it's still, you know, how that role works from week to week will be a work in progress. But how it plays out on every given weekend will be really fun to see. Meanwhile, for the Grizz, they've also brought in a transfer with former San Diego State QB Lucas Johnson, who will battle with Chris Brown during camp. But Johnson will be the presumed starter. We have not named a starter. So, you know, they'll compete it during camp. And we'll, we'll figure out uh, at some point between now and the, and the opener who's going to be our starting quarterback. But uh, those guys have done a good job. Uh, Chris has made progress. Um, Lucas had a good spring. I, I was uh, high on him coming out of spring practice. Very excited football season right around the corner. Now, the Big Sky isn't the only conference getting ready for the season in the Treasure State as the Frontier released their preseason polls earlier today. Take a look. It's looking to be a top three battle between Montana programs with the defending champs in Montana Western sitting in first place. And it was basically a tie for second between Carroll and Rocky. The Batland Bears are looking for their first Frontier title since 2018, while Carroll will try to reclaim their first outright Frontier crown in eight years. As for the Montana Tech Ordiggers, they were voted to finish fifth in MSU Northern, now led by former NAU head coach Jerome Sowers, round things out in eighth place. And that'll do it for sports. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll be right back.